I don't have a Comic Con shirt. That's sure. okay. <laughs> it's a, you're probably you're probably on someone's Comic Con shirt. So that okay. Um, my question was, I, I saw you at the Entertainment Weekly um, panel earlier today uh -huh. with Zoe Saldana and Vanessa Dushku. The whole um, strong, iconic female role of that legacy. What did you bring to Avatar, or what care? What if, what? Did your character in Avatar bring in? You know, I think for me, what's so um, present in the script is Jim's love of women. Is you know, we have three great women characters, um, you know, who are all so sort of ballsy and fierce, and yet very loving. And he just, you know, he sees how capable women are in the real world, and he puts that in his movies. So I think that was. It was just such a pleasure to read again about a woman who's so capable and uh, Natiri, Zoe's character again, you know, this gorgeous princess who can do anything physically and um, as good as any man. Uh, and Michelle's character, you know, what a, a, a wonderful offhand, sort of casual but completely heroic um, woman she is. So it was really, I think it was a big attraction. To work with James again, um, was there anything different this time around? You know, was movie for you? Has his language changed as a director? Like to direct you? you know, I think he's more relaxed, probably. You know, he he took those 12 years off. He raised a family. He's a very fulfilled person. He's doing this, you know, out of love and I don't know, kind of insanity. I mean, it's just so great to me that. Everything you see in the movie, every plant, every creature, every color, every shot was masterminded by Jim in a way that's not egotistical. It just all came out of him and he wanted to give it to everybody else. So it's just the most ambitious project I've ever been involved in. And I really think it's cool. It's just an amazing film. You brought this film to Comic Con um, yeah. and the experience with the fans. Could you imagine what it would have been like when you brought the two here? You know, like what kind of experience that would have been? Well, it would have been very exciting. You know, I think even in the days before Comic Con, you'd go to a big press conference and there'd be some address as an alien. You know, I love, I dig the, the whole, the really passionate sincerity and obsessiveness of these fans. They're my favorite group of fans. They care so much. They're so smart. Um, and I think our, some of the most talented people in our industry probably started at Comic-Con.